Yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the welcome back to my video of the family part two. Okay, so I will be continue teaching how to say family related words. Okay, starting with the first one, it's how to say brother in Burmese. So in English, it's like you can say elder brother, younger brother. But in Burmese, we have different way to say. So first, let me introduce all of these three, and I will explain you each one. Okay, so for brother, we can use a go, a go, maung le, maung le, or nyi le, nyi le. Okay, so what are the differences and what are the usage? So let me in, let me explain. For a go, a go is for elder brother, and it will be like. Uh, spoken by both male and female speakers. So if you're a male or if you're a female, you can use a ko to mention your elder brother. Okay, so a ko is for both male and female speaker. But for maung le, mean younger brother, and it's only used by female speaker. Okay, so for female speaker, if you want to mention your younger brother, you have to say maung le. For May speaker, want to mention younger brother. If you want to mention younger brother, you have to use Nhi Le. So Maung Le and Nhi Le is used for younger brother, but for different speaker. For A Ko is used for elder brother and used by both male and female speaker. So I want to explain one more thing. Le, right? Le. So it's mean like, okay, and you will see Kale in the in this video as well so okay so a go elder brother and used by both male and female speaker maung le used by female speaker to mention younger brother nhi le younger brother as well used by male speaker to mention younger brother okay next one is sister sister is a uh, pretty easier compared to brother okay sister we have a ma and nhi ma le a ma a ma nhi ma le Okay, so ama for elder sister, it can be used by both male and female speaker. Okay, suppose uh, I have an elder brother and I can say ama. And if a female speaker having an elder sister, she can also say ama. So there is like not, not much difference. Okay, for the younger sister, for both male and female speaker, we can use nima le to mention our younger sister. Okay, so there is no difference for male speaker and female speaker. So for me, if I have a younger sister, I will call ni ma le. And if a female speaker having a younger sister, she will also say ni ma le. She will mention as a younger sister. Okay, so a ma for elder sister, ni ma le for younger sister. Okay, moving on to next one is how to say your cousin. Okay, your cousin, wen kwe mao na ma. Wan kwe mao na ma. Okay, so mao na ma mean like siblings or brother sister. Wan mean your abdomen. Kwe mean different or separated. Okay, so wan kwe means separated or different abdomen. Uh, brother and sister. Okay, so it's mean cousin, right? Wan kwe mao na ma. Okay, wan kwe mao na ma for cousin. Next one, baby. Baby, kale. Kale. Okay, baby, kale. Next one, a boy, yao jia le, yao jia le, okay, yao jia le. Girl, main ka le, main ka le, main ka le, for a girl. Okay, so now uh, I want to introduce about in-laws. Okay, so father-in-law, yao ka ti, yao ka ti. Okay, so ti, it's indicating for a male identity. Okay, so yao ka ti, father-in-law. So for female identity, it's like ma, right? So yao ka ma. So it means mother-in-law. Yao ka ma. Yao ka ti for father-in-law. Yao ka ma, mother-in-law. Son-in-law, ta ma. Okay, so when we write, we have to write ta ma. But when we say, we say ta ma. Ta ma for son-in-law. For daughter-in-law, chui ma. Chui ma. Okay, so see, you see the female identity ma, right? So you can guess. So if you see some ma like this, so you can guess it's a female identity. Okay, so this is the end of the 
a video for part two my family and this is the end for the family video uh to be honest i also want to include the brother-in-law and sister-in-law but they are pretty complicated and it's difficult for me to explain and i'm finding a simple and easier way you to explain so if i if i figure it out i will also like teach you how to save brother-in-law and sister-in-law in Burmese. So before finish this video, I want to go through one more time so that we we are on the same track. Okay, so uh, so this is the family part two and brother. We say a go for elder brother and used by both male and female speaker. And if you're a female speaker and want to mention younger brother, you have to use maung le. Maung le. And if you're a male speaker and want to mention a younger brother, you have to use ni le. Ni le. Okay, for sister, elder sister, amma. Amma. For younger sister, ni ma le. Ni ma le. And can be used by both male and female speaker. Okay, if you want to say your cousin, wan kwe mao na ma. Wan kwe mao na ma. Okay, baby, kale. Kale. A boy, yau ja le, yau ja le. A girl, main ka le, main ka le. Father-in-law, yau ka thi, yau ka thi. Mother-in-law, yau ka ma, yau ka ma. Son-in-law, tam ma, tam ma. Daughter-in-law, chui ma, chui ma. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed learning Burmese with me. And if you have any questions or concern, you can comment to this video or you can mail to my account or you can directly message to my Instagram account. So thank you everyone for watching my video again and see you next video. Bye-bye.